Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with George Rule, of course, is this character and we're going up against a guy named Osa. And uh, yeah, this was definitely a stream battle I had, and uh, it was he wanted an Oreo match and uh, I'll say his team is Oreo-ish. It's really only like the Trevenant that stands out, but besides that, they actually got a good structure going with a few NUs and actually yeah, a few RUs. So, yeah, I didn't care too much going into this battle because I could kind of work around it. And even if it has um, the draught ability on the Nine Tails, it's not gonna matter as much because it really doesn't help out to the, either his team structure nor mine, to be honest. So, anyway, let's actually look at the team here. We got Nine Tails, Venomoth, Hillisk, uh, Quagsire, Trevenant, and Oriados. And Oriados seems real like the obvious lead here, and Hillisk is definitely the biggest threat in this team because it can really dent my team. Because I actually have four, no, three pokes that are weak to Electric. I got Unfessant, Octillery, Meowstic, Moltres, Rhyperior, and Pangoro. Uh, my Moltres is used here before the BL band here, but um, yeah, it's definitely been working wonders. And Moltres is key for winning here for me because it can actually dent almost everything on his team. Because I do pack the Power Herb, Solar Beam, and. Uh, the only reason I have that is because it is so easily walled by rock types, so I need something to break through. And I'll say it helped a lot because very often an opponent only have one rock type or ground type or anything like that. So you only need that hit and then break through and then you is very likely to win. So yeah, I really hope Moltres can work out this battle. I really need to get the out of the way very fast. So with all this my guys. Let's go. So, like I predicted here in the get-go, he's gonna start with the Ariados, and I'm completely fine with this. I do expect him to either try to hit me, or go for Sick Web. And since I had rivalry, and I saw I had a lot of males in this team, I just felt that, you know, I'm gonna lock myself into return, and then just take out whatever comes in, really. So, return's gonna take it down to Sash, he's just go for this Sick Web, and uh, due to my fastest Pokemon being flying, they are not affected by the web whatsoever. So it's... I'm completely fine with this. So anyway, Return will take it out, of course, with this combination. And uh, after this, he will actually switch out to his heal disc, thinking that I can outspeed, but I am scarfed. And I felt really comfortable staying in, and I'm going to annihilate this heal disc straight out of the bat, and that is awesome! I did not expect to do that, so I, I actually thought it was scarf for bringing that in. She's gonna go to Nine Tails. I felt, you know, I have a good thing going, he had a lot of males in his team, I'm just gonna go for damage. And what do you know? Mm! <laughs> I don't take it down, but man, I'm close. And it's gonna go for the Will-O-Wisp. Very surprised about this, because I did expect a Flamethrower, because it will take out this Pheasant if we decide to do just that. So anyway, I think he's getting that I am Scarfed, and he's gonna go finally to the Trevenant. Which is, of course, the right play. Um, it should have done that from the get-go, to be honest. So, obviously, you know, I'm not gonna get any hits there. And I'm just gonna switch out my Pangoro. And he predicted this very well and went for another Will-O-Wisp. So, that is awful, to be honest. That is not really what I wanted. And, uh, yeah, both Pangoro and Moltres are now banned from um, RU. So, that is, that is tough. That is really tough. But anyway... I'm obviously getting the burn, and I'm just gonna go for knockoff, going for damage, he's definitely switching out for the right reasons, because it will still hurt a lot. So, he's going to his Venomoth here, and like I said, knockoff is in common, and you know, it still does fair damage. And I knock off the Wildlands, and um, I'm guessing he has some moves that are able to miss, I guess, as he uses that. And I'm going to just switch out and sack off my Tylex, to be honest, because it really doesn't do, you know, some significant amount of damage to his team anymore since this burned after all. But he actually went for the Quiver Dance, so very, very surprising. And um, after this, he will actually switch out here to his um, Quagsire, which I definitely should have predicted. I played it safe there and just went for damage, and being that I am, like I said there, um, burned, and this is his only female, this air lace will do nothing. It is definitely a big contrast to, you know, rivalry is definitely like a um, reward system that only works if your opponent has the right gender. If not, then you're, you're in, obviously in trouble, and this is definitely one of those situations. 
So I'm going to just do into <clears throat> my Voltaire. And I do affect the energy ball, and uh, I did not think my opponent knew this, <laughs> or rather, I was betting on it. Uh, he just went for curse, trying to set up, but he will switch out here. He probably predicting that, and gonna go to his venom out, which can phase this off quite nicely. And uh, I am way ahead. <laughs> So anyway, like I said, Venomous is coming in, I just went for energy ball, and there is nothing, nothing happening here. Um, poison and bug is a great resistance for <laughs> grass after all, and I decided to switch out. I thought I could maybe take uh, a Giga Drain because I am a Salt Vested, but at the same time, you know, why risk it? Uh, I might as well just fodder off my Tylex and pretty much eradicate my chances for us. Probably a 6-0 if we were lucky. So, at this point, you know, I just decided, let's go into Moltres, let's try to finish these things off. So, Moltres is in, and it is uh, able to outspeed his Venomoth, of course, and I'm just going to play forward just to eradicate it. Poor Venomoth. So anyway, at this point, my opponent doesn't know, I have the Power Herb Solar Beam, and like I said in the beginning there, it's so good, it's so important to practice, because look at this, look at this! You're going down, Quaggy! You're going down! <laughs> I felt really good about this because that was a major play and you know the little changes that could have been done to this team, you know, it was eradicated through this play and his Quags are going down means I only got Trevenant and 9 days left. And yeah, Trevenant is not feeling this and I'm just gonna go for an overheat because I really wanted to. And he's going to destroy the Trevenant and his only Pokemon he got left is a Whittle Down, very very less powerful uh, nine tails and um, yeah this is basically GG so this was a very straightforward match but I had a lot of fun because I got to showcase my team and even against you know stronger tier Pokemon it is still the strategy that you know will prevail and if my Moltres really did a number in Steam and together with Unfessant which actually eradicated a lot of threats in the beginning you know th there is no going back here so much power in this team really really dented my opponent early on and he had a very tough time catching on so Osa GG man um, sorry about that to be honest uh, you play good I just had some good things going for me really to be honest so yeah guys I really hope you enjoyed this battle I know it was a very very fast paced one but like I said I had a lot of fun battling this guy and you know just overall, this is the best part by streaming, and it's that you know actually try different things, and sometimes it works out really well. And this was definitely one of those times. It can also backfire because when you're streaming, you know you're just picking you know the Pokémon that you kind of feel like and hope that they are you know teamish. So um, usually I, I can be destroyed. I mean, the first battle I had, I have six physical attackers. And my opponent just went for a cutting guard, and after that, we just GG. Like, there was no way I was gonna go back from that. And um, you just make those team on a whim, and this team definitely showcased itself to be more than enough. Um, so, yeah, I, I was pretty happy about this. Um, really, really liked it. And I'm really sorry for my opponent for actually never really finding a footing for the start there. Definitely a tough play for him. But I want to thank him anyway, you know, for taking the time and really, really try his best here to outmatch me. I think in a different battle, he would have had much more luck. So anyway, guys, you know, I want to thank you for watching as always. Don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, of course. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.